My name is Jill Hilditch and I am an Associate Professor in Mediterranean Archaeology at the University of Amsterdam and I'm also the Principal Investigator of the Tracing the Potter's Wheel project. This project is called Tracing the Potter's Wheel because we are investigating how and where the Potter's Wheel was used to make pottery in the Bronze Age Aegean, a region in the Eastern Mediterranean. The Potter's Wheel gives us a fascinating insight into the ways that ancient craft technologies were adopted, adapted and also rejected by prehistoric communities, both through time and across geographical regions. Studying these patterns or interactions between past people may also help us to consider the ways in which modern technology spread through society. Our project uses a range of research techniques that allow us to analyse, visualise and experimentally reproduce the pots and other objects that we are studying. When we're in the field, either working in a museum or the storage rooms of an archaeological project, we use a combination of traditional photography with structured light scanning to create detailed 3D models of our objects. This macroscopic analysis is designed to help us identify which types of raw materials were used to make the ceramic object and also which methods or techniques were used in its manufacture. Back in the ceramic lab here in Amsterdam, we focus on microscopic analysis using ceramic photography with thin sections to more accurately determine composition as well as experimental techniques to test our assumptions on how ceramic vessels were made and if we can tell the difference between these techniques. The Bronze Age and the Aegean spans just over 2,000 years and sits between the earlier Neolithic period and the subsequent Iron Age. It's a technological label effectively, named for the dominant use of bronze within society but despite this, pottery is the most frequent find for archaeologists dating to these two millennia. The Bronze Age is associated with a rise of technological capabilities, population density and settlement sizes. However, frustratingly, there are few Bronze Age texts to tell us about who these people were or how or why they built such impressive settlements. It is only really towards the end of the period that we begin to learn names of people and goods in the administrative Linear B tablets. This means that technological studies of the material record, such as pottery and the pottery wheel, remain one of the most valuable means to understand more about these people, their movements, interactions, social groups and behaviours. This region is wonderfully varied in terms of topography and geology, hundreds of islands and coasts, volcanoes, mountains, all of which are being inhabited and used by Bronze Age people in various ways, and often in what can be considered quite challenging environments today. Also, and um, perhaps more importantly, this region has been studied by both Greek and international archaeologists for over 130 years, which means we have an incredibly detailed understanding of pottery assemblages, that is, what types of pots were used, how they were decorated, and how they change in shape and decoration throughout the Bronze Age. And it's having this context or foundation for our project that was crucial, because we are looking to investigate questions concerning how those pots were made to help us understand when, where, and for what vessels wheel technology was used in the Aegean Bronze Age.